Nathan Arkley is a Paralympian, Australian Paralympian. He was at London last year, won a bronze in the 4x400. Uh, he competed in the Boston Marathon today, finishing in 1 hour 37. He's on the line from Boston. Nathan, hello. Hello, how are you? I'm OK. Where were you when the explosion happened? Uh, I was just walking up the uh, front of my hotel when they were uh, let off. OK, and could you hear them where you were? Uh, they are incredibly loud. I mean, uh, there's people saying they heard them up to four blocks away in, in media vans and whatnot. So from what I can gather, they were quite large. What did you do? Uh, at first, it went straight over my head. I mean, I, I passed it off. I think everyone did. They weren't too sure what it was. So um, it, it went straight over everyone's head to start with, I, I think. And did you then, what, did you go into your hotel or did you go back to the streets? Uh... I turned around, went back in the hotel, and um, on the way up, I was having a chat with a fellow, just asking how his race went, and he, and he said they'd shut the course down because something had, had gone wrong. But we were um, still not too sure what to think there, but... How far away from the explosions were you then? Uh, my hotel is around 200 metres from, from where they were, they were let off. And I take you could hear them, but did it, did it sort of shake the buildings as well, or that, that strong? Um, yeah, there was there was smashed windows, buildings shaking. I mean, it's, you couldn't have missed it by any means. And what happened then? I suppose sirens and things like that, was it? Yeah, it's, I think everyone went into shock and there was people crying on the streets and it was a whole kind of feeling of disbelief, shock at the start, I suppose. It's an awful thing to be doing in any, any event, but particularly a sports event, isn't it? It just seems particularly wrong. Yeah, I I'm puzzled as to why someone would do that, but I, I, I think everyone is, to be honest. No one really knows what would drive a person to do that. Do you feel your own security is uh, OK? Um, I'm impressed with how they handled it. I, I mean, I really am, hands down. It's, I feel safe. I think everyone else feels safe. They've, they've evacuated everything, locked down everything they need to lock down, so I think they've handled it like incredibly well. Nathan, thank you for speaking to us. Nathan Arkley, Paralympian, 200 metres away from that explosion. Talk in Melbourne.